called your, uh, if you're a Libra or, or a Saturn. What is it called? It's your sign. Yeah, what is it? The, what, 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 astrology. Astro- your yeah, what, astrology. Yeah, they call it. Astrology. They call it something else. Well, it is, but they call it something else. What is your sign? That's what I said already. That's it's your What's Zodiac. Your sign? Zodiac. Yeah, you should have said the serial killer from the 70s. Yeah, yeah, he would have gotten it. The Zodiac killer. Yeah. I'm a Libra. All right, <coughs> sorry about Libra. that. So I, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a Libra. I'm a Libra. So we, we get, I get, what the I, fuck? I guess all of us randomly, at least you know I do. You I don't know what, what the deal is. Can we start, can we start I get over? these text messages randomly with some person that, hi. And you're like, hey, uh, oh, I thought this was somebody so and so and so. So dumb. It, it is stupid, but you know what? I gotta buy into it. Just have fun with it. Fuck yep. with it for a little Run while. With it. Run with it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just whatever. And, and I just, you got one tonight. Didn't I, you? I had one in the middle of a. Did in, you get a in, nudie? No, no. <laughs> I was trying to solicit one, and, and they didn't. They didn't respond. So, you know. Yeah, uh, they responded. Yeah, they did. So she, they respond with, "Hey." And I send a picture of that post on Instagram from our dudes like us that shows the bourbon we're drinking and dudes like us. And then and she goes, I'm Zoe. Excuse me. Are you Maxwell, 47 years old? And I, <laughs> and I respond. Really? Like, who says that? I know. Well, I, Maxwell. I, I respond like, back. Maxwell, 47 another, years old? I, re- I, I respond back. Is it, remind me, what, what do you look like? And, and she sends, a, she's from Japan. And she sends this, she's actually quite, if this is her, she sends a picture of a, we, we should a look beautiful that, woman. We should look that picture up, and I guarantee it's all I, over I've the I've already, internet. I've already looked up, uh, not this one, but I've, I've received these before, and they, they're, they're, they're fruitless. Yeah, they just, and she they says, just pull it down. This is me, and it's a beautiful Japanese woman. It's probably some dude in India. Oh, it probably Habib. is. And I said, ooh, yeah. I don't I don't recall you. Uh, please remove your shirt and show me your top. <laughs> And she says, sorry, I made a mistake. Perhaps bothering you, if possible. Uh, nice to meet you, and have a nice day. I said, so, is that a hard no on the frontal photo? <laughs> she says, although this is just a mistake, have a good day. I'm Japanese, currently living in San Francisco. Where are you from? In Texas, on my couch naked, waiting for the full frontal. <laughs> Hashtag disappointed. And she's like, bye. <laughs> And so I, I said back, damn, dot, dot, dot. Well, listen to our podcast, Dudes Like Us. We'll be, we'll be talking about you. And then she sends back a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. nah, whatever. Oh, these people. They just randomly so, just text me. I get one. I'm ridiculous. not as many as you. Oh, I get I get several. I don't. Yeah, I've gotten just maybe one or two. Nothing like what uh, you guys get. And I've never responded. I get to one them. a week. So their end game. I get one a week. At so least. their end game is to uh, win you over, like like and take your money and take your money. Correct. Like like, hey, I want to come meet you, uh, and then get you involved in some sort of investment. Well, in a, or, and, or, or, no, or in a romantic, you... romantic uh, fling, and then say, and then throw on them, hey, I I need. Ten thousand dollars or something like that, so I come see you, or I, I'm in trouble, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Right? Oh, so you be. I cannot more. believe it. My son just got into a wreck, and right, and he, I need to fix his car, and I can't. I don't. I don't have the money. I mean, it could be like a two or three month grift. Can I borrow five thousand dollars? They do wow. it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I would send them an application for a Visa card, or a Mastercard, or American Express. I say, hey, here's you go. Fill out this application. Yeah. And when you take care of your business, then you buy your tickets. You come here, and I'll fund it. There you go. No, that's what I would do. But yeah, so I don't give a shit. There's it so is crazy. It's many... conniving, and I worry about folks like Alan. He's the perfect target. In fact, target. He's actually been targeted. He's hasn't been he? targeted. Yep. Did he relinquish any money? No. Are you I sure? Luck- no. Yes. Well, I mean, I. I is this a, a new? I warned the shit out of him. It was several years ago now. Oh. Okay. Oh no, this was new. This was uh. Yeah. This was after his uh, Cuban relationship. Yeah. So it was last year. So I mean, it was it was yeah, it's fresh. But I mean, I warned the shit out of him. I said, no. "Do not." It happens a lot, and, and, it and does. Lo- lonely they... people out there will yes. bite on it, and yes. they'll do it. I just fuck with them, you know. I, I just, I, you know, I don't care, you know. And, and most people shouldn't care. And you know what? You know what? I crazy. the next time crazy they, stuff. I, I I probably won't do this, but the next time I want I want to make them think like they have the big score, get them excited, right? Like totally play into everything. Well, you need to flip the card and say. I actually need five thousand. Could you send it to me? We could do that. Yeah. You know, just yeah. flip the script on. That. All right. Well, before we jump into this too much uh, further, this is the second half. It's uh, second of the uh, Dudes Like Us podcast. It's April twenty fourth. Thank you, Mr. Producer, for sticking around, being around. Dudes Like Us. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. 
And I'm Jeff. And we have a brand new bourbon. We're I not going to talk about it right now. Nah. We're, little, we're not going to talk about it. Nah, shut that music off. I think we're kind of seasoned. We are no. seasoned. Are you seasoned? No, I'm not, but I think, uh, well, I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I had five Brazilian nuts for breakfast. What and uh, I had a Bucky's sandwich for lunch, and I haven't eaten since then. Is that a well, hold br- on, brisket hold on. sandwich? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, it was a tried. It was a, a tried meat. A, yeah, they have, have a tried meat. That? They have a tried meat now. I know they have a. a it's sausage, turkey, sausage. and turkey, and, and brisket. Brisket. Yeah, twelve ninety nine, mm. and so much protein. Yeah, I didn't eat the bread either. Really? What do you mean? That you, Your body you, does need. Carbs. Hold on, you opened up the sandwich. You took you off the, the top meat. and the bottom, and you shoved the meat in your mouth. No, I had a fork. Really? You took off the bun? Hey, man, look, I'm trying to make every effort Did you get that bucky chips? Do you realize no, wheat I, germ Wheat germ is good for you? Uh, look, 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 look. Uh, I'm just saying I'm trying to cut carbs, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I have a lot of carbs in me, so it's okay. Well, that beer right there you has 1.9. Pl- you yeah. have plenty of carbs in you? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Hey, look, uh, if, if you're a diabetic, you cut carbs. If you have cancer, you cut carbs. If you're... But you still need carbs. Cause like Brandon... Dude, we get carbs. You get carbs in everything you eat. Like Brandon yeah. said, like because Julie was saying, hey, do you... Do you he's like... I still need carbs. <laughs> yeah, but carbs are in everything. Eat, I just don't, I can't eat as much. And yeah. it has to be a certain I'm just, type. You, avoid breads, avoid potatoes, uh, avoid carbs, but carbs are in everything. So yeah. you're going to get them. Carbs are in nuts. I eat a lot of nuts. Ooh, we, no got a, we got a picture of the sandwich. Oh, some Ooh. guy, the Bucky's, Bucky's Three Meat Sandwich Review. Yeah, our. Oh, uh, God, that looks look nasty. Look at that. Oh, it's wow. actually mine was a little bit Could larger they, than that. Our producer jumped to into action, looked mm-hmm. up Bucky's. Time the, the to boycott triple, what? Bucky's. What? what? Boycott? Was he a bitch? Three bitch. meat sandwich review? What is not good? He's saying it's not good? Wow. This guy's a moron. There's probably not enough meat. Oh, this, well, not for 12 bucks. I mean. That's a it, lot of money. It did actually. look kind of thin. It's twelve ninety nine actually. Yeah, eight ninety nine would have been perfect. Yeah, the meat. It's a lot of meat. No, it's not. Not for three meats. You don't think so? No. It's like a slice of each. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Did, I, well, I, hold on. You ate it. With I, 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 well, first of all, I was full, but my stomach has shrank because on Mondays I fast. And then you eat so, f- five nuts. And then Tuesday. Five bowls. Oh, hold yeah. on. Yeah. Then Tuesday. What is today? Today, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So it's Tuesday, um, I, I ate minimal on Tuesday. I ate some steak and, um, and a salad. And uh, that's it. And then this morning, uh, I had, like I said, the five Brazilian nuts and the and the Bucky's uh, three meat. There you, you know, go. That's it. And then, of so course, he got two one... beers and two bourbons. <laughs> Did you see that? He's disappointed. He got one little slice of turkey and one slice Oh, of he's turkey. disappointed. Look at him. Uh, well, I, he, he well that that may be, I don't know where he's from or that, that particular Bucky's at, but the one in Texas off yeah, of uh, the Terrell, Texas, the Bucky's out there. Uh, yeah. It was, uh, that's a Colorado avalanche. I don't trust this guy. Yeah, he's from. He looks weird to he's me. He's not. He's got an igloo back there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking ig- commie. All right. Anyway, so yeah, but the Bucky's uh, the sandwich was good. Dude, Bucky's I, food. The look. Okay. The, the briskets. What? No, it's it's it's, it's the okay. brisket sandwich is excellent. It's you know good. the it's food. Good. Yeah. Look, I just you, you, you got to be careful eating this stuff. And their home chips are Buc- the Bucky chips. The well. Bucky chips are good. I got Bucky popcorn. I, you know, I'm not gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna say all is solid. The sandwiches are solid. The Bucky chips are solid. But I'm not gonna say that they're amazing. I'm not. No. They're solid. I think the. Uh, I've been disappointed in their sandwiches before. I I think that the chopped brisket sandwich is solid. The solid. Ch- the That's chopped what I mean. one. The chopped you're, one is better than the sliced. Meaning because super. I, I, here's the thing. You're never going to be disappointed, but you're not going to be like, oh my god. Well, they mass produce it. Right. That's I'm, why. What, that's is, what does that mean, mass produce? They cut corners and cut cost. They it's, have a full brisket they bring out. They don't they, smoke it there. Okay. I don't believe. So well, it's mass produced somewhere. Yeah, but they, they show. The, it's got to be but they, they have local. a huge ass cutting board. And they oh, bring out it. the brisket. They have this big ass yeah. knife. Yeah. And they I've chop, had, chop, chop, chop. I so how, how, how are they cutting corners? I think I've that shit is better brisket. That, uh, but I think that shit's fresh, though. It's fresh. Oh, it's absolutely fresh. You're making it sound like they they bring it in from Alaska, like well, freshly well, they caught. They may. 
<laughs> do they smoke it there? I don't know. I'm just. I'm, I think. I'm, I, I. I don't know. Do they smoke all of their meat on site at each and every location? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm going to guess no. That's what I mean. So that means it's smoked somewhere else and trucked in. Right. Right. Just like seafood is not as good in Texas or Colorado. Tap that up, Mr. Producer. Does, where does Bucky's procure their brisket? Yeah, those a holes. I'm never going back. Right. I'm done. I've I'm had done some pretty Bucky's. nasty brisket sandwiches from Bucky's. I've had a couple of good ones, but good I've ones had some too. nasty ones too. Yeah. And they're uh, turkey. I've had some nasty turkey but you sandwiches know what? too. I can say I can say that about any barbecue joint I've been to. True. Sometimes they're great. True. Sometimes they're not. So, uh, all right. So here we go. Hey, here we go. Twelve facts about Bucky's famous brisket. I don't know if I call it famous. Well, it is kind of famous. All right, smoked well, up. I just read all that. Managed <laughs> by. <laughs> wow, you like right. a genius. So Texas and regular visitors to the Lone Star uh, State known Bucky's is more than just a huge gas station, which it is. Fucking hundred pumps out there. Besides the hundred ga- plus gas pumps. It- uh, all right, so they've got decor- decorative items and food, but while fans of Bucky's uh, love the shopping experience, there's so much they can make a day trip out of the part of the Texas highways. It's the food assortment that has earned the change the most buzz. We're not just a, okay. So where do they get the bucket? Bucky's brisket is smoked for up to 14 hours. All right, okay. scroll down. All right, that's there's good. There's no smoke ring. Yeah. All right. nice. Uh, as there's we no, all there's no smoke ring. What? As we all know, the see, bar for one. the most gas stations' of food is set pretty low. Most of us would be happy grabbing a bag of chips, soda pop, and a donut. Blah blah blah. Uh, scroll showing. down a little bit more. Uh, the uh, Bucky's uh, brisket is, in this case, uh, in point. We put a, a lot of love in it. Bucky's operations district manager douchebag. These briskets are smoked for at least twelve to fourteen hours. We have okay. a smokehouse that ships it to the stores daily. Daily. There you go. All right, so it's fresh. So it, but he's right. So they do. They do bring it in, but they have a localized or they they have a smokehouse that brings it there. So, right. Uh, it, it, and what, know, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, the farther you get away from that smokehouse, yeah, the lower the quality is going to be. I think perhaps but it's like seafood. I'm, I'm trying to go back to seafood. Yeah, but hold you on. get you get farther away from the coasts and the actual ports. Your seafood's not as good. All right. Well, you know that, you, that has some merit. You but know how you when you smoke a, a, a brisket and then you and wrap then, it. Yeah, you wrap it. Put it in a cooler, right? And then you actually you can take it to like an event hours away. Oh yeah. And you can. I'm not saying it's bad. Reheat it. And I'm just like, saying it's they, not the like, best brisket people, I've had. People freak out. Like we said, it's an okay sandwich. Right. No, I'm with you. It's I'm a, with you. It's solid. Yeah. It's just, That's what uh, I say. It's solid. It's I not, think it's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. I still eat them. No. I don't have a problem I think it's with comparable it. to, Buck, uh, to Hutchins. No. But you know what? No, no, no. no. I'm going to disagree I, I with do. that. I'm going to disagree the, with that. The chopped sandwich is, 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 is comparable to Hutchins. No. Hutchins? Maybe, maybe it's the sauce that's in. I don't uh, maybe. Oh, Hutchins You know, I got to admit, I got to admit, I, I'm not a huge fan of the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Maybe with, that's uh, what's bar- turning Bucky's. me off. The, 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 it's too much, first of all, and it's too tart. Um, It, it really, it's it's not it, for it, me. It, maybe the sauce that's turning me off of the Bucky sandwich I'm pretty particular about a barbecue. I'd rather have it without it if I, if I don't like. Agreed. So here here's the thing though. That place is an awesome place to just go in and oh, experience. It is. Yeah. The they have like they got the cool kitchen stuff. They got the the stuff you buy for your the house. Cutting like board. This little sink. They got hunting stuff. Oh, they got fucking coolers. Everything. They, they have soaps. They have it's, scopes. And, and and it doesn't mean Scoops. you. You don't have to, <laughs> guns. I, they I never, do. They have gun cases. No, they have not. Yes, I've never do. seen that. Yes, they do. No shit. I've never seen that. Yeah, I am there all the time. I've never seen that. That's cool. Which part? Anyway, no, guns. Guns and no, scopes. No, they don't have guns. They have scopes. Yeah, they have, they have scopes. They have gun cases. They have knives. Oh, have... yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In their hunting section. Like, big yeah, Ram- yeah, I got like you. a big Rambo knife. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I got you. I've got it all. Anyway, it, it's, it's a, I, I understand why it is a go to for families. To stop there. Oh, Look at stopped. that video. This dude is like we jamming. I need a little chopping knife like dude, that. Dude, it's yeah. a. It looks like something like two people would cut down a tree with. You know what I, I mean? I, like back and forth. I kind of look forward to it. I mean, I, I got to travel sometimes, and, and sometimes I'm not looking forward to it. But I, you know, the, the trip to Bucky's always because it gives me a chance to stand up and walk around, and I could do a couple laps and do a quarter mile pretty quick. You know, and it's like, oh my god, because you know, when you drive two three hours, you, you need a little stand up time, and I'm not. I, I don't. Sometimes I'm gluttonous. I'll have like, you know, I, Three I don't sandwiches. do sandwiches. No, I've done like a huge uh, the oh, sausage on a stick. They're separating and, the flat uh, from the point. They sure are. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Because one they'll chop and one they'll slice. 
Mm, yeah, that's I right. Bet. So, so Shelly and I. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. I know it. So Shelly and I get on the bike, and well, then that's a thick slice. We get that's on the bike, nice. and then where we end up is Bucky's, and so we have our you know moment where we buy whatever we want to buy after getting on the motorcycle, and then we go home. It's kind of a fun thing. But one complaint I have. Not enough, don't, ga- not enough gas stations. You don't. Yeah, they don't have any pumps. They have hardly any pumps. <laughs> they're always full. They're, no, they're not. <laughs> anyway, my complaint is there's nowhere. I've never had that problem. There is nowhere to sit down to eat food. Yeah. Well, they don't want you staying. No, around. they don't well, want I you get to it. Sit so there. we buy. We so we're on the motorcycle. We go in there and we buy the sandwiches and shit, and we go outside and we sit down, sit down on the fucking sidewalk and lay next to the wall. We no, don't have a car to sit in. Now there's a. We sit in the car and eat. Sandwiches. Well, I know I don't have a car to sit in. We're on the I, motorcycle. Don't, I think they have. They have like a they got table out nothing. there. Nothing. They got nothing out yeah, there. Yeah, they don't have anything out there. And I'm oh. like, dude, seriously, they could have some picnic tables outside so you can sit down and enjoy right. their food. You may be right. That, they, that's they want you to buy up. one of those little folding chairs. Yeah, get a fold-up chair for five bucks. Oh yeah, they just throw it away because I can't put it on the bike. No, just return there. it. It's got oh. barbecue yeah. sauce all over it. <laughs> yeah, we just tried this for 45 minutes, and it we did. It's yeah. not really Yeah, it's, it's not, not really for us. It's not for us. And it's a little yeah. side table that came with it. It's just, yeah, it's just not comfortable at all. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? You could. And it's, and it's really dirty. Just sit in the front foyer in the air conditioning and grab two chairs, because nice. that's where they're at, in the front. I know, right? Just sit right there and eat your yeah. sandwiches. But they it, do. They have turn your of... seats around so you're looking outside, and everybody walking in, you're oblivious because you don't see them. <laughs> Like you're by yourself. <laughs> we're you're drinking, looking over the we're sitting, gas pumps. Yeah, yeah. We we got a fire going. We have beers, and we're right. sitting get in your, chairs. Get your twelve pack right. of natural light. Just, no. <laughs> I really, I really like Bucky's. I'm not. I didn't, I didn't mean to badmouth Bucky's brisket. I'm just saying. I like. It I've too. had better. I've, I'll eat it again and again. Uh, I am disappointed in oh, their great. their it's turkey great. more than their brisket. <laughs> Why are you giggling over there? I was just thinking of Jeff saying, I'll have it again and again. I'm like, oh, my inner monologue. I said, like, we're not talking about dick, Jeff. You know? <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. That's one Paul, not me. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Paul. Wow. Anyway. Anyway. It's a, <laughs> Second I, half. Second I, half. <laughs> yeah. I understand why it's a great stop for families. Uh, it's a lot of fun to go there. So. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Uh, I, so I have met some people from the East Coast, and they talk about a place that they fucking love, and I'm like, that sounds like Bucky's, and it's. Wawa, Yawa, Wawa, Wawa's Wawa. nothing like Bucky's. I know, but they talk about it like it's. The I've been to end, Wawa's. They talk about it like it's the end all be all of of places to go. No. What? Wh- so what is the draw of Wawa's? Can you bring up a picture of Wawa's, it's Mr. A gas, Producer? It's a gas station. What is Wawa's? It's about. It's like the ultimate convenience store. It's about they're a, claiming. It's about a quarter the size of a Bucky's. And they, it, it, so I I told them I don't know if it's like. Bucky's? No, it's not. But Bucky's, it, they can't top Bucky's. It can't. No, it's impossible. Bucky, Bucky's is the Walmart of gas stations. It's ridiculous. It's but ridiculous. Your your ultimate convenience store for food, drink, and fuel. I mean, they got lots of food stops, but it's about a quarter of the size. I'm of, telling you, of they. Bucky's. I'm telling you, they talk about it like it is the end all. All you gotta do all. is just text them, Bucky's. Yeah, yeah, really, suck Bucky's. It. <laughs> Bucky's suck it. Yeah, really. Yeah, I've been to many of them it's out spell there. Spell it S U C. Oh. Dash uh, IT. No, that's not how they spell it, though. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is a little <laughs> Bucky's, you know. Well, Wawa's a lot of these where you see all of these uh, crowds going in there and stealing everything. Really? And Wawa's. Oh, try know. that in a fucking Texas store. Oh, try that in Bucky's. Because they're in Philadelphia. Where oh. I've been to, they've been in Philadelphia. Bucky's and, will, they have a license to kill. <laughs> well, it's in Texas, right? For one thing. Yeah, I, you know, for being in Texas. <sighs> God damn it. You know, I'm I'm waiting for some of these these crazy. The sh- I mean, they did it. Pop- they're here, University of Texas. They yeah, did it. They're here. What? DPS descended on them and and shoved them and pushed them out. You didn't hear about this? It happened today. I, I heard. Oh, really? <laughs> today, no, I, I didn't hear that. University of Texas had the pro Hamas oh. protest, just like they are on the on the East Coast, and DPS officers in full riot gear fo- formed a line and said, "Move, move." Move and they just took step after step after step and were pushing them back and then whoever caused a problem shoved them to the ground, zip tied them, pulled them away. That's why it's deep. Fuck handled. yes, that's the shit that happens in Texas, bro. That shit's not going to happen here. It's just not. And that's in Austin. Yeah. Well, Austin is so fucking liberal. I know. It and is. And that's bad. in Austin. It yeah. was. There was. 
Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so um, I'm assuming. Uh, so what is so- going on? This is pro Hamas. These guys are blood bloodthirsty killers. Oh, I haven't seen this one. What is going oh, on? I saw that earlier. Where is this? That's in University of That's Texas. That's UT. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh looks, they ha- looks sped up. Yeah, they have it sped up, which makes it No, I think so... our producer's helping us with that. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, that looks really violent. No, well, I mean. Well, it is violent, but it looked extra violent. It looked like that. Yeah, when they speed it up, when they speed it up, it looks like so bad. What is going on? Well, he I love his it. little billy club. I yeah. saw that. He was jabbing it. Jamming it in there. I love it. Hey, guys, there's, you, you have to. There's, you. No. Sometimes you got to Will Smith somebody. I, I'm just saying. You got to. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Will Smith did the right thing. No tolerance, But sometimes man. in life, you need to be Will Smith no, and no tolerance. bitch slapped. No tolerance on this shit, man. No tolerance. I, I'm, I'm with you there. These people need to be shut down. Well, they probably thought they'd come down here and go, ooh, let's go to Texas and we'll show them. Yeah, that didn't work out too right. well, did it? Yeah. But look, it's a bunch of white yep. folk. Yep. For the most part. Who are brainwashed into thinking, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking they about. Have no idea. They don't you even. Know? Don't even. They don't even understand what happened October seventh, twenty twenty three. No, they have no idea what happened. Fourteen hundred innocent people in their homes were hunted down, slaughtered, raped. Look killed. at that. They've got all that law oh, enforcement yeah, going in there, just manhandling these fucking fe- assholes. And they were like, "Okay, it's time to push you out now," and they did. Look at. She's what got they, the bleached hair. These, these people. I lived through October 7th. Never forget. Um, and, and you know, I feel bad for the Jewish people. Yeah, me you too. Know, because, this I mean, is ridiculous, this, is just like, this is just like Nazism. This it, is yeah, like the same anti, thing Hitler anti, did. Anti-Semitism coming out in full force. And I, I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't understand it either. I don't understand it at all. I don't understand what that's they why, have against the Jews, man. Well, that's I don't why I think it's... Uh, th- there's a group of people who are against the Jews, but I think a lot of these people... Don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's the latest movement. Yep. It's the latest protest, and I'm going to go join it. Yep. Because it's I'm anti- an idealist. I, I'm, an, I'm an idealist, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to make my voice heard. Yeah, it's anti-establishment. It's anti- the conservatives are against it, so I'm for it. I, I've been a huge proponent of someone just sitting on top of these roofs with a sniper rifle and no, a silencer oh, and just God, popping these fuckers no, off. That happened it. down in UT. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. Stop. That's a terroristic <laughs> move. What I'm talking about is some of these people that are terrorists, that are Hamas holes. No. It, take them that. out. Yeah, you can. No, don't no. say that. I, 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 don't, I, I don't want anybody shot in cold blood. These I people are, are, are ignorant. And, Fuck them. Nah. Dude, I, I, you know what? Then at the very I, least, deport their ass. I know you're saying that, but it, you, you don't really want that. No. All right, let's talk about something fun. Well, you were uh, well. You know what? Like, talk, I want you to talk about boobs. Uh, no, well, I want you to elaborate a little bit more about your 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 bourbon trail visit. Oh yeah, you really didn't get into it last week. Outside of you said you're the expert in your knowledge until we proved you wrong. Uh, you were the steward. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, look at me. I, I don't remember any of that. Yeah, so. I believe that because you didn't take notes, you big ding dong. I really didn't. Yeah. Or video. So or so, post. So you know. All right. So. A little personal information. The reason why we were going out to Kentucky to begin with is because my, my, my wife's aunt. Fuck Hamas. My wife's aunt was uh, diagnosed with leukemia. She said, I got three months to live. And I was like, well, we're going out there. We have to visit her. Right. Right. So that was the plan. We made all the arrangements. We're getting ready to go. And then she says, turns out I've been accepted into some program, but I'm going to be under like serious medication. And they said, I can't be in contact with anybody because I'll get sick. So I can't see you. So we we're like, okay, that's fine, you know. So we'll change we'll be our close. Yeah, no, we'll we'll cancel the trip. And then I was like, part of it was like refundable, part of it wasn't. And I was like, you know what? I it was after three months of me not working, and I was like trapped in the house doing nothing. And I was like, you know what? We need to do this. Just you and I need to do this. Let's go do a little segment of the Bourbon Trail and check out some Civil War stuff and check out some Abraham Lincoln stuff. I was doing some research, right? So we decided to go. And it was it was just a so what Abraham Lincoln stuff did you look at? Uh, we went to where his mo- his family home was. Was, was a log this, cabin? Was yeah, this, yeah, it's a little tiny log cabin that they had moved from another place and put into this little area. Did he have extra high doors because he was tall? Did he have a top hat? Um, he. <laughs> so here's what's crazy: when he was a child, he was actually not tall. Like he was a okay. normal. 
He was like a little kid. Thank you, Paul, for that. Right. So <laughs> yeah, he was only four feet when he was ten. <laughs> that's exactly right. So I wasn't sure if you thought he was born. How tall was uh, he? He came out six eight. You yeah. know, he was eight foot one. I think. Wow. And so how tall was Abe Lincoln? Uh, I'm going to go do with we, six six four. Maybe. Do we know this? Probably six four. Is that with or without the hat? With, <laughs> without. And I think back then that probably was like insanely. Tall. I think he was six four. I think he was six four. He was here five, we go. Six. He was five six. Hold on. Here we go. He was five six. <laughs> what do we six got? Six foot four. I was my right. Well, you looked it up beforehand. No, I did not. James what? Madison was a short. I said six four that. first. No, no, I said it first. I said it first. Bro, go back and listen to the podcast. Well, look at that. We've had some tall presidentials. <laughs> who James was the, five foot four. Well, who was the tallest president we've ever had? It was Lincoln, wasn't it? Is it Lincoln? It is. And Lyndon Johnson was six. He was a racist. Oh, he was. He was Look totally. at this one. They actually put Donald Trump at six foot three, which is crazy. Because well, hold on. you can't deny how tall he is. But they did. Remember that one list we were looking at? They put Donald Trump uh, smaller than everybody else. Really? They totally did. They hate him so much they don't even want to acknowledge how under, tall he is. I don't understand his signature. No, that's that's not a signature. That's weird. Uh, yeah, but whatever. People I see are. Donald, and then crazy. I see like a sine wave. Yeah, whatever. People, it's a signature. It doesn't have to make sense. Anyway, so we get there on a Saturday. The only thing was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It was not very long. And on Saturday, we didn't do anything. We went down to Bardstown and just kind of hung out, waiting for the next day. And the next day, we went to uh, Jim Beam, and we went to Heaven Hill, which we've had many of their uh, many of their bourbons on this podcast. Correct, yes. Jim Beam and Heaven Hill. Which... Have, have we talked about the the warehouse where they're putting different bourbons in the same Rick house? And it's just so, where the placement's at? So That's old Forrester. Well, no. Two of the distilleries talked about that exact same scenario where they have five different brands and they have the exact same mash bill. They're put into the barrel in the exact same recipe and mash bill. And the only reason why they're different, meaning totally different brands like Larceny versus or Old Forester, Old Forester 20, uh, 1910, 1920, uh, you know, all these different, you know, the whole brand, right, is based on, like you said, where the barrels are in the warehouse and they get moved around, by the way, and how long they've been in there. That's just and that's like, amazing. And, and how high they are, because these things are yes. three stories tall. Well, yes. Buffalo, they Trace, get hotter. Buffalo Trace is yes. the same way. Like Ancient Age, which is oh, gut, gut rot. rot. Oh, yeah. the gut rot. It's the same mash bill of either Blanton's or Pappy's. Unbelievable. But it's age and where it's at. Right. And, is and, the difference. And where it's at in the warehouse. Yeah. Un- unbelievable. I had yep. no idea. Yep. I was stunned. So that was so. So the first day was like I said. The first day of, of distilleries was Heaven Hill and uh, and Jim Beam, and then the second day we went to Limestone, which was Yellowstone, which was amazing. There were tiny little distillery. Yellowstone, uh, we've got some out there. It's pretty yes. good. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, really good. And then that's when we went. I to thought our, it was okay. And we went to Perryville uh, Civil War Battlefield. Oh, how'd that go? Did you, did you dress up in LARP? We we didn't we didn't go into costume. Did you oh. find any musket balls? Uh, I didn't have a metal detector. I did ask Sean for his, and he was like, "Fuck no, man, dude, oh, I paid dude, a lot I'm of money give for it that. To you. I'm not going to give it dude, to you." Dude, I had I had a, I have a uh, an orange Garrett carrot. You could have taken it with you. Orange Garrett carrot. It is a it's a it's a handheld uh, a metal detector. Call uh, it's a Garrett call it Garrett carrot. I wonder how they would have felt about me going out there with a metal detector in the beep beep beep. No, beep, beep. get rid of orange. It's uh, the Garrett uh, Pro oh, sure. uh, Pointer. A gift what from the? Aqua Chigger. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, hold on. What does that thing do? It's a metal detector. It's a flashlight. Well, hold on. No, that's, it's not and, a flashlight. And, and oh, actually, and it does dildo. have a little flashlight. Hold on. Are you saying that that's what you had when you went out to East? I, I had that. So when you metal detect, you have two devices. You have the metal detector, which is a one on a rod. Yeah. And the, it, you have headphones. And... Uh, You don't have to have headphones. It just makes a sound. Oh. And you can hear it. And, uh, or you could have headphones, uh, you know. Would it have like haptics where you could just feel it? <laughs> kind of like I guess it dildo, could. Because it kind of looks dildo-ish. It's it, well, very it's dildo-ish. Not, no, no. So you no. Put the closer it is to you. All right, let, let, let me walk you through Hold the on, process. The closer here. it is to so you. So you have the tall one that's on the, the, the rod, and, and then you, you're scanning. And then you hear a... <laughs> 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 
right. So once you once you find a a, a section, you're kind of oh, I think there's something there. You take the shovel and you you dig up and you scoop and you're eh, eh, eh. oh, I didn't feel it. Then you get down, you get your your Garrett carrot, right. and you kind of like that kind of zooms into where it's at. Oh, it's kind of like all right, is it in this pile? And you're like eh, nothing, and then all of a sudden, do, 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 do. oh, there it is. Oh, it's a fucking five million dollar coin. Why don't they Why don't they just make it a Metal detector that is good enough, yeah. so you don't need two. <sighs> well, or is that just more money? No, no, they they actually have separate functions. So uh, again, but they detect the same thing. Well, one's a macro, one's a micro. So I mean, that you got to oh, think of it in terms like that. Right. You know, right, one's right. kind of like it kind of gets you close to where you need to be. We should be able to narrow the beam. It should. I mean, you could do that with some of the ones uh, with with probably the, cost a lot of money though. A lot of they money. all cost a lot of money, and you could still do it. But at the end of the day, when you're doing it, you you have two different devices because you want to sit there and jack with your metal detector to narrow that beam down right. and change it. You want to you want to macroly figure out where it's at, then scoop it up, and then grab that because that's in your you got a little satchel for that. But I but I holster for it. I think it should vibrate more the closer it is to your asshole. I mean the metal. Oh, so <laughs> the metal. Like when actually, you get it close to the metal. Actually, that one does vibrate. I, I just, think I misspoke. Like yeah, this. it should start going. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What just happened? <laughs> what? Well, it's very phallic looking. Very uh, phallic. Well, it's it's a it's a it looks like a carrot. Now, what's yeah. weird is the on button is like right in the middle. So I think that's kind well, of that's where your thumb would be because it's like you're holding oh, yeah, it but there. If you insert that, it's so why it, are you inserting that anywhere? I Paul mentioned it earlier. Very erotic. It's to sift through the soil. It is. It is waterproof. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I think this is on its course. It's got an exclusive scraping blade. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's got a, it does say that exclusive scraping blade. Yeah, well that comes handy when you're when you're when you want to like and you pull out like a saber or something okay. out of the ground, right. you know? Or, saber. I, I can't. Well, they this. found like remember they they, they, they dig did. it up on the beach, they yeah. found this old yeah, right. Roman uh sword it was from a big like, sword it was all encrusted. Wow. Did you see where they just found a bunch of uh 360 Catholic degrees. Christian coins? Yes, I did. And they said there was something shocking about the find. Yes. What I, was it? I, I didn't read I, it. I saw the headline, I, and I thought of you, Sean first. And I didn't read it. I didn't read it's, it either. It was something shocking that they didn't, you know. You know, it's just like when they find shipwrecks, right? And they're like, they had no idea that this group in this time, right. uh, you know, traded with that group. I thought it was going to be something amazing How, like how long that. ago was this? Oh, yesterday. It was like yesterday or the day before. Yeah, it was a couple days ago. Yeah. yeah. It was some... Very interesting find, but uh, it's you said it's Christian coins, either Christian or Catholic coins. It was Christian. Uh, is this it here? When was this story out? No, I don't think so. Uh, Sixty-eight million. That's a long time. May first. Oh, that was last year, twenty twenty-three. All right. So while you're looking for that, I'll finish my story. So the final day, we would, I told you we went to the Civil War thing, and I know I did not have a metal detector, which is why we went off on this crazy tangent. Yeah, but metal anyway, detectors are fun. No, it would have been so so fun. What about a cannonball? I did. I did. <laughs> Imagine digging that fucker up. So you say that that was in the news a couple days ago too. Somebody found a cannonball, like a Civil War cannonball, and they said it's probably still live, just like World War Two oh, ordnance. Yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, you got to be careful because that could explode. Right. It's got gunpowder in there." Right. So anyway. So my final day. I, I, hold on, I, oh, yeah. I didn't know cannonballs exploded. How do you think they hurt people? They I just, just thought they threw them. Like I just a, thought they blasted like, through, like a big ball bearing. Yes. Yes. No, they explode. Are you serious? Uh, didn't you watch the movie Patriot with Mel Gibson? Hold on, are you both serious right now? Correct. You didn't think that the cannonballs explode? I don't think all of them do. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I think the majority of them did not explode. Well, this maybe because they were metal. Maybe because they just, were duds. But well, the no, idea was well, because you a like, cannon no, ball explodes. The the, the well, object of a cannon ball all lined up. was to go through a ship to no, poke but, holes but in but it. When you watch any Civil War movie, it's like kaboom, and the dirt goes up in well, the because air. Because it's hitting and... the the earth. No, no, no. It's, no, it's no. hitting the no, gunpowder. No, no. I, I need that fact that's, check. That's Hollywood. I need that fact yeah, check. I, I agree. I am Do certain. cannonballs explode? Yes, cannonballs explode. They're uh, not... Mr. Producer, chime us in on that. Do Civil War or Revolutionary War? Yeah, they're not just like. Dumb balls that go through people's uh, bodies. No, no images. We need some. We need some verbiage on this. 
do cannonballs explode? A cannonball is a solid spherical projectile without an explosive charge, so Bullshit. cannonballs themselves do not explode. I they are launched it. from a gun and do not contain any explosive material. I Paul don't it. is full of poo poo. I don't believe it. Take that Garrett carrot and that's not vibrate. Okay, here we go. Both exploding and solid projectiles were used in the Civil War and for centuries before, but solid shot predominated until around the 1850s. Oh, oh. We are both right. Oh. Well, that's what I said. I saw. I'm I bet they're right. both. I bet they had both because the the fighting style of the Revolutionary War was they're get, all lined up. Yeah. So you shoot the cannonball and you take out ten guys. It's like it. bowling. How awful is that? This big old hole. How dumb is that? Just think about the, oh, that uh, style of fighting. Well, they didn't know standing, any different. Standing in a line, like just waiting to be mowed down. When did gorilla, that's where, when did guerrilla warfare kind of well, start? You had it was civil, you had a guy was his that name the civil was War? you had a guy named Tim Murphy, and he was a sniper that during the Revolutionary War, and he was the sniper that kind of started that program. I'm not sure if he started it, but he was the one that was pronounced to have started that style where they were like that's part of that. that's part of outlander we are way. we are right? not going to be like those red coats and stanley's front lines and just no. be mode we're gonna be down. we're gonna do guerrilla warfare yeah that's nonsense these guys were hiding in the bushes and shit and that's where uh the name the, the name tim murphy came in uh as, as a as, Never heard of as, Tim Murphy. Well, uh, he I was a, he either. was a sniper, and he would he was taking out all these people. He was like one of the first snipers that was like the, the man. There you well, go, Revolutionary War Timothy Murphy, the war sniper. Yeah, that was part of Outlander. Have you watched the last season? No, not yet. He Cause, uh, cause he Jamie served with joins distinction. The snipers. Nice. Seventeen fifty one. I mean, it's uh, it, it's kind of crazy. That is crazy. Uh, so that's kind of where that era, right where, where that was. He was yeah, part of the originals. Was, but, uh, by the way, the Revolutionary <sighs> War was way before the, the Civil War. So what the hell? Oh, yeah. Why did the Civil War people continue? Because they were all trained in West Point. That's why. Both the Confederate generals and the Union generals were all trained in West Point. And they, they were taught fucking lining up and... Taking it for the team, I guess. I don't know. I think I think when you had Isn't that insane? I, I think when everyone had swords, maybe that makes sense. But when guns were invented, uh, so yeah. dumb. It was right on. Changed yeah, but, the game. Yeah, I think yeah, swords but, were because it, it took more of teamwork. I I get to it to be able to to barricade that. Kind I get of stuff. it. But why didn't why didn't West Point teach these generals in the Civil War because they, they were better. old that, and cranky and well, I on. know better than you. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, but look they, at me. Oh, my name's Paul. But they learned from the <laughs> Revolutionary War that's how we fucking beat the British because we didn't line up like idiots and we didn't and they were like uncivilized. Uh, remember oh, they, it was so proper. Yeah, they were like uncivilized Americans are fighting like cowards. Look, remember? I'm dressed so no, proper and I, I yeah, haven't wiped for two ass. days. And then they forgot about all that shit when they went into the Civil War. That's insane to me. I don't understand it at all. Wow. It's fascinating, though. Well, they learned. So they we learned. St- we started watching because when we came back from Kentucky, not only were we. There's a lot of people that died. I know. Oh, uh, tons. Exactly. Exactly. So not only were we energized about, you know, distilling and bourbon and all that kind of stuff, but we were also energized about the Civil War. And so we started watching documentaries about the Civil War. Shelly and I did. And what the hell, man? I mean. Well, it, how, how it, many people do you think died in the Civil War? Uh, 600,000 on both sides. I'm serious. Uh, wanna, how many do you think? Died? I want to say both sides. One Total of, one and a half to two million people. So hold on. So you're saying six hundred thousand on one side, six hundred thousand no. on two. Six hundred thousand total on both sides. What are you saying? So one point two million. So you're saying one point two million? No. So three hundred thousand on each side. What are you? What? What's happening? There we go. There it is, six hundred thousand. Yeah, six hundred twenty about six hundred twenty thousand. So it's uh, the number of soldiers who died between eighteen sixty one and eighteen sixty five, generally estimated at six hundred twenty thousand, is approximately equal to the total of American fatalities in the Revolutionary War, the War of eighteen twelve, the War of Mexican War, the Spanish War, the World War One, World War Two, and the Korean War combined. So this is what's amazing about that. Statistic. Combined, yeah. I know. Wrap your head around that. I know. Well, then you look at World War Two. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, that includes World War Two. Consider no. consider that no, it number. It does. Yeah, yeah. So it, hold on. Let, let's back. How many people died in World War Two? Well, we got to look that up. But you know, six hundred twenty thousand died in the Civil War. Right. And, and the number I'm thinking of may be everyone, not just U.S. How many people died in World War Two? It was like one. I think it was one point 
Oh my God! Five million, Germans, million people died. Well, civilians. One point one point five million Germans. So it says seventy some seventy five million people died in World War Two, including twenty million military personnel and forty million civilians. Yeah. Many of them died because of deliberate genocide, massacres, mass bombings, disease, starvation. Yeah, mass bombings, really. Yeah. Are they including uh, the Holocaust in that? Probably. Uh, yes. Yes, they are. And and Stalin. Yes. Because he killed like thirty million people by himself. Yes, he did. I was gonna say six hundred twenty thousand. But very it much. was like it was like one point five million Germans, and it was like. 800,000 Americans, I think is what it was. You know, I, I, but I think... if you can find that for us... Just, Mr. just Mr. to stem it. back into the Hamas thing, which I don't want to dive too deep in, 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 not the Hamas, but more over the protesters, is I think they're they're ignorant. And we, we said that, and we all agree. But it, it, I blame the schools for not teaching them this. Right. The truth of really what's going on. Yeah, And it's... So, you know, you got to, you, you got to, like, you got to... Go back and figure out. All right, well, if the, if they don't know that, why don't they know that? Because the school didn't teach them that. Why did the school not teach them that? So, who's directing the school not to teach these kids these things? These things. Who's rewriting I history? Know. I don't know. But the you farther, say that the but, farther we get away from like significant events, are, are you talking about war? Well, no. What it is? No, it, what's the saying that you hear over and over? Hard times. History will make, rewrite itself. One of hard times or repeat itself. Make for soft people or something like that, right? What is what is that saying? We are in the we are soft right now. We're soft. Harder times make for so- stronger. Hard what, times you- create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Correct. We are in the weak men stage. Create hard times. Yeah, so hard times are coming. Where did that come from? That's very insightful. A uh, quote was from the uh, post-apocalyptic novel by Arthur G. I like that. You never heard of it say before? It one, say it one more time. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. And then, and then the cycle begins again. Correct. Yeah. Right back to hard, hard times create strong men. Fascinating, and that's it really so, is. That's so true. It's the circle of life. Well, you think of where we're at, right? <laughs> wow. So our hard times, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sean. our hard times, World War Two, maybe through Vietnam, maybe. Yeah. What's going on since then? No. Uh, good times. Good times. Well, I tell you what, this generation is weak as the, the weakest I've ever seen. Since. Weak, weak, weak. Our yeah. military is gutted with with weak. It's it's gutted. It's it's and it's infiltrated with. Man bun wearing, I mean, hair bun. Mm-mm-mm. Makeup wearing cocksuckers. What the hell? Well, if they can kick ass. Oh, yeah. I you, don't care what they do in their private life. Dude, I don't if care if you suck out. dick and you want to take on life and, and, and be a badass soldier. Tear it up, brother. But, but come on. Why post it? Yeah, there's no. Why I don't need it? to see that shit. I mean, didn't they, they show the. You're you know, not the 13th you, you warrior. Know how, you know how in these Instagrams they show like. You know, they, 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 they show you in one picture, and then they go, bam, and they change you to another picture. Say that again? In what? They, they Instagram. Do, they do Instagram. They do oh, what, yeah, the dopamine rush. Yeah. They're, no, I don't know what it's called, but they show a woman in a dress, and she's being all like whatever, and then it goes, bam, and suddenly she's in a bikini. I don't know why I'm making this example, but they, you know what I'm saying? They do this thing where they... They they shift the image. Yeah, yeah. They they go back up. Yeah, they, yeah. So and then, and the, but there's people in the military doing this. Yes, correct. correct. Yes. And I'm like, mm, why? How you're not even allowed I, to post? I, I don't even want to see that shit. Yeah, in the military, so I thought I thought that bizarre. they ma- I thought they managed their social media. Like you're not allowed to do shit. Not, not anymore. What I mean, happened? What did, happened what, to our military? What? what the, every, it's gone it weak. so soft. You, you, who's in charge? The generals now in charge are so fucking woke. It's it's General it's Milley. Yeah, Milley. God damn, that dude yeah. needs to fucking go under a rock and die. I see, I'm I'm scared we're gonna get rolled. By somebody, uh, we're, we're going to be rolled, dude. There are hundreds of thousands of people infiltrating this company, uh, th- this country. I know every month, Chinese, especially. It, it doesn't matter across the board, foreigners. But, but I'm that talk- don't I'm, belong here. But I'm talking about, I'm talking about like known adversaries, China. Like China is a known adversary, and we don't playing, care. and they're playing the long game. 
to to collapse this country. And and if there are literally thousands of of, of military aged men streaming across the border, that's no really? bueno, guys. It it is no bueno. I, it's frustrating, and frankly, we've talked a lot about it. You know, I just you know I am I just lifted my glass and took a sip of this really and i am like this is awesome and w- what are we drinking right now this is the old forester single barrel barrel strength barrel strength the yeah this is the nevada strong 2023 version i think there's they, they released different versions obviously single barrels right so nevada i guess picked their own barrel whatever this nevada strong outfit is uh so they picked their own single barrel and it is 63.9%. Damn. So it's, that's what, 126? It's really good. Almost 128? Did you I do know, that right? Yeah. You know what's funny? So every single time I try to, a- anybody, anybody in my circle, I, and they like, you know, hey, well, you know, tell me about some bourbons or whatever, and I try to get them to try something of this proof, it knocks them out. They're just like, this is terrible. Yes. They think it's terrible. They can't, it burns the shit out of them. They, they, it's, it never goes well. Mm. There's not one person that's been like, oh, this is really smooth and rich. Well, and I blah, taste blah. this and right. I taste this. And... Not once. And I'm like, damn, I, I got to figure out. I don't want them to, like, <laughs> I almost don't want them to get to where we are, right? In terms of like, <laughs> right. Losers. <laughs> Kind of sewers. Are you, are you talking about 1845? No. We're, oh. talking about, we're talking about high-proof bourbons. Oh. Like, oh, my God. I love it. Everybody that tries them, that I, that I try to- They freak to, out, huh? Oh, they freak so out. This is time. one about 128. It's, yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's love hot. it. Love it, love it, love it, it. It's hot from a proof perspective, but I tell you what, it's not, it's not from a- You know what I- You, know what I you smell? can't taste it. You know it, what I smell? I can't you taste cannot it. taste I it. Cannot. It's not ethanol It's not- I've been sniffing on this, this, the, the second half. I smell cola. It does it kind of have has a, a cola flavor. dark Lovely. molasses taste to it. It's, it's, which I think that's the cola you refer to. It's a dark molasses you're tasting, huh? Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, I smell like uh, like RC or something like that. Yeah, it's amazing. In the nose. It's really, really good. Yeah, you know, for 128 proof, I mean, hell, this could be 118 proof. It could be 108 proof if I've had. Stronger 108 proofs than this one, as far as the the impact right. it has on your palate, right. and you're kind of like, oh my god, this, this one is outstanding. This one would be problematic. Oh yeah, because it is. you can drink the <laughs> shit. It actually, it actually is at the moment problematic. Yeah, and I can't read any of this on the back. What's it say up here on the screen? Uh, What's God. it say? Yeah, Jeff, take us take us home here. Well, it's not really giving us anything. Uh, it's just about Old Forester. Um, it says, individuals who wish to share a special place in this legacy have an exclusive opportunity to select a single barrel of Old Forester for purchase and personalization. So I think like this one here on the, on the screen, it says George Gervin Brown, right? And I don't know if they're... Related to the Brown Foreman family or not, but uh, George Foreman, yes, you can guarantee they are. Yeah, and uh, so <laughs> I guess can I'm telling you, everywhere in Kentucky, it's the Beam and Brown and right. They keep the love in the family. That's it's for sure. Amazing, it's amazing. So I'm thinking that we could go in and do an Old Forester single barrel and have dudes like us instead of ours says Nevada Strong. So it's it's it's. It's it's a single barrel. It's a single barrel, and you pick it, and you, yes, your name goes on it. So it's just kind of cool. I wonder how much it would cost. Yeah, though. we need to pair up with like forty, fifty guys and and buy a barrel together. <laughs> I'm serious. No, it would be amazing. No, hold on. Let's, I let's... ran into a group of guys. That's what they did. Yeah, but look, so how many? That's how lot. many bottles do you get out of a barrel? Let's start there. Five hundred. Five hundred. Is it really? Yeah, I think so. That's a lot. Depends a, how old it is. It's a lot. It's so, a lot. And how much does a barrel cost? Is it like fifteen grand? Well, you got we yeah. got to figure if you're five hundred. Like like if we did an eighteen forty five, let's say there's seventy, let's say eighty bucks a bottle because yeah. they're cast strength, right? Yeah, cast strength. So eighty bucks times five hundred. That's forty grand. Forty grand divided by fifty guys. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's four. That's four hundred dollars. No, four thousand dollars, isn't it? Yeah. 
Go to the math. Do the math here. So who's doing the math? Is somebody doing the math? For what? Uh, that's forty thousand dollars for the barrel. Forty. Yeah. Yes. And so divide that by fifty guys. Well, that's less than a grand a piece. It should be eight hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, it's eight hundred bucks. A yeah. Piece. No. No. I. 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 I would get like ten guys. What? what? That's a shit ton That's of bourbon. That's even worse. That, what, what are you talking about? You're getting like 50 bottles. <laughs> 40,000 bucks. That's a lot. All right. Let me process this. Uh, yeah. Really? 10 Who's guys is four grand <laughs> for 50 bottles. Uh, all right. Take the same bourbon. 20 guys. We'll do two grand why, Yeah. Why would you need that many bottles? And that, that was my complaint. So these guys were telling us about how they, they were like a, the masonry or the masons or whatever. Freemasons. Yeah. Freemasons. And they, like 40 guys got together and they did a single barrel and they, and this is before they just passed a law where you don't need a liquor license to, to convince a distillery to do a single barrel selection. You had to go through like a total wine or you had to do whatever. Anyway, so they had to pay a fee to like total wine to, to, to select a barrel. And then they select it and all these guys are picking two cases each and all That's these, too much. Oh, and there were all these guys in the, in the Mason group that like joined too late or they didn't know and they they didn't get they didn't get anything and i was like you couldn't give them one bottle like you know like most of us buy one bottle of a single barrel i was like dude that's 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 not cool for you to take two cases of these bottles and not give these guys that are upset that they weren't in in like pulled in right. and give them one bottle i was like come on anyway i i didn't want to be all I, I didn't want to, like, unload on him, but I was like, mm. you're being a douche. Yeah, I felt like saying that. Yeah, you could be a douche. And, and let's be honest. You know, it, it, I would I would assume it'd be kind of difficult, for me at least, to to want that many bottles of the same bottle. I, I would want a variety, bourbon. you know? Two it's, cases of the same single barrel? I, mean, the, the, I don't the, drink man. enough bourbon to get through that. That'd take me an extremely whoa, long whoa, time. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we need to fact check that. Pipe it down there, Sparky. 50 What's bottles. We need to fact check that. That's like at least a month. <laughs> well, the serious problem. Your liver's not going to make it. I'm just saying that was it was crazy. You finish fifty bottles in a year, though. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's, it'd be close. I mean, actually, that's four bottles a month. That's one a week. Yeah, that's not happening even for me. Uh, well, and I was going to say, like, th- we got the bottles that we're drinking for podcasts. That's different. That's three guys hammering the same bottle. But stuff like the single barrels bottles that we get at home. First off. Most of them aren't even open. Right. They're not even open. Because when I am drinking, I'm drinking Jim Beam or Henry McKenna. Well, we could go in on a, a barrel of Henry proof, McKenna. Right? 80 proof. And I'm drinking it with Coke. Right? I'm not even pulling, I'm not even pulling on high proof stuff at right, home. Right. But so when I am, I'm like, okay, I'll pull maybe a, a, a couple ounces. On a cube? Well, that's what I mean. It would last an extremely Dude, long time. An extremely I don't drink. Extremely long time. Outside of podcast. And maybe one night a weekend, which doesn't hasn't happened in a long time. Right. I don't really drink bourbon. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's 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 yeah. The most bourbon I drink is eighty proof bourbon. That's a mixer with Coke. Oh come on! All the time. No, I'm not drinking. I'm not pulling out the high proof stuff. I'm not. I'm putting on in a cube. No. You challenging that? You challenging? I, I I don't do, I don't think you're telling the truth. I am telling the truth. Look at look at the bottles I have at home. They are all full, and most of them unopened. Mm-hmm. I've got I've well, got five single barrels from from uh, eighteen forty five. Well, one, I don't. I don't. One is open. I don't. I'm, I'm sure not going to say I don't drink a lot, but what I will say is I don't. I drink two three times a week, and that's it. You so know, I think the difference is I'll have a beer where you. I'm not saying that I don't drink bourbon, but more frequently I'll I'll have a beer right. than a bourbon after yeah, after, after. I have after bourbon work. and coke. That's yeah. it. But it's 80 proof. Mm, I'm right. talking about Henry McKenna I, I and Jim Bean. I, I enjoy the last the couple weekend. of weeks I've been drinking beer. I, and that's because I have a refrigerator full of it left over from our St. Paddy's Day party. Right. That's yeah, the only that's reason I'm drinking it. beer right now. But typically, I'll have a, a bourbon at the home, you know, outside of the podcast and outside of our Friday excursion. Um, and are you drinking it straight or on a cube? or what Straight. You, straight. I think one of the reasons I do that is because I can have one beer and I won't even get buzzed. The bourbon I have downstairs to drink is like foolproof. It's 125. Yeah. And during the week, I'm not interested to. Is that benchmark? Yeah, benchmark foolproof. Right. It's 125 proof. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I'll, I'll save that for the weekends. During the week, uh, I'll have a beer, 
uh, again, not even every night, but on the weekends, Friday night, Saturday, uh, is when I'll enjoy the bourbon. Yeah. No, I got you. And of course, podcast night, but. And of course. Of course. It's good stuff. But there's, I don't know, there's a lot of folks who drink bourbon every single night. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. and there's a, there's a lot. There's, there's people that, like I was talking to a, a buddy of mine, a shout out to David, uh, DJ Dave, Kung Fu Dave, Master Dave. Remember Master Dave? Master Dave. Master Dave, the guy uh, with uh, the Pottsboro with paintball shooting. He was yeah. out there. David used to is a disc jockey, and he's still uh, in the the field. Um, uh, you know we, you know I just talked to him today. He was like a huge Kentucky Deluxe friend. I was like, Are you fucking kidding really? me? I'm telling you, it's not bad. Well, Kentucky Gentleman, Kentucky Deluxe. I've had both. Crazy. All when right, so what do we rate this? When for you're sure. mixing with Coke, it's not bad. All right, let's rate this. I th- I'd give this an eight two. Mm. Holy shit! I ranked this up with some of the better ones we have. I agree. I'm gonna say eight one. Oh my god! Is that too low? That's really high. We yeah. too low. You know, here here's we the thing. Too low. Here's the thing. <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm rating this so high is because it has depth. The other ones are, are the, the, the like the earlier one. It was good, but it was thin. This one. There's a lot As going death. on with it. There's a lot going on with it. There's different it's things. It's fantastic, in this one. but I was going to give it a seven, a seven three, seven four. Wow! But wow. you guys are going high eight. Yeah, this that's one's... rare for high eights. Well, yeah, this high is eight. good. Eight two is not a high eight. Well, eight eight plus is is rare for us. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm going to revise to seven seven. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's it really is, good. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, and it's the. Uh, the the Forster the old Forster single barrel barrel strength uh, Nevada strong twenty twenty three and this is the one you picked up obviously in Nevada right yeah when I was out visiting my dad he had at the uh, the uh, liquor store that I like to go to called Battleborn Wine so you're not going to be able to find this anywhere not that single barrel no so what's right. the sticker price on this I paid a hundred bucks for that holy shit I think MSRP was he didn't he doesn't mark his shit up crazy. Like uh, some of those places, he marks them up, but it's not crazy. I think that normal MSRP is probably around seventy five, eighty bucks. Mm. Good for him. Yeah, and good for us. Good uh, for us. Because I'm being no able shit. to enjoy. This is great. So, is this the this the first poll we take it off? This is the second. 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 Okay. Second, so yeah. we're down to uh, you know half half a bottle. It's ish. Pretty it's damn close. Amazing. It's got about five eighths left, but. Uh, so we, we again, another... so I'm wondering if this is one of the old Forsters that is the same mash bill as all five of the different brands of old Forsker, but uh, it's a single barrel. It's interesting. I think it, it is. You know, I, I, I think would, it is. I would like to learn the dynamic of this because if we could, if I could put this on my palate and taste it and understand where it's at in the building and right? figure out what gives it that depth that I'm speaking of, which I can't really define, what gives it that? Because well, they. They know what it is. And I. what's amazing is, I told you, when they, I was looking at the barrels, and they were talking about what the markings on the barrels. And I was like, but it doesn't tell you if it's an eight, a 1910 or a 1920 or a 19. And they go, because we don't know yet. I was like, what? When they put it in the barrel, they don't know what it's going to be. That's incredible, right? Yeah. I bet they have an idea, though. They have to. They have to know where they're going to put like it. Like this region usually produces 1920. Right. This well, one does you had, this You one. had mentioned something. So, so at the end of this whole thing, ima- sorry, sorry, no, sorry to cut you off. So at the end of this whole thing, where they put it in the barrel, where in the warehouse, up, down low, they move but, it around. But still, and you, then you, they you try- talk about the barrel. Well, that, on, that's but, the part that yes. I'm, I'm queer about, is that you had mentioned that they, when they build these barrels, that they intertwine different species of wood. Yeah. Like that a, to me kind like, of like dictates no, 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 some no. things. Well, I don't remember him saying that. Like a maple or no, like a I, cypress. No, 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 no. It's all oak. It's all oak. It's all of oak, of course. But there's but, different different areas of the world. Uh, you know? No, I don't. I don't think so. No, they can't do that. Uh, we need to re- we need to replay that. No, they can't do that. No, what I said was they. So when they they can make two barrels out of a tree, but they're not making the two barrels out of a tree because when they build the staves. They're not a, it can be from multiple trees. It can be from multiple but trees. But they're all oak. Yeah, they're, and they're all oak, and they're all from harvested from the same area. Because I can promise you that the the distillery is like they they know the characteristics of the barrel. 
and they request right. they literally request they put a they get a single barrel from a certain uh barrel and they know the data from it and they go back to the cooperage or cooper cooperage cooperage yeah and they say uh we want the same wood from the same missouri southeast missouri in the ravine they know they request i i, t- I talked to the cooperage guy they know exactly where that barrel came from and they want more of it because it was amazing well, what if some animal dies right at the roots and it like soaks? Into oh, the, it just gives flavor, and, and it just gets soaked up into the tree. And they what write, if a dude died? Nope. And they yeah. they write down, a uh, fifty three year old white guy died they, they, at the face. They of have this. they have found men in rum barrels. Rum I, barrels that produced that they, outstanding rum. Oh, yes. these, these guys were drinking out of it, and they were they opened up the barrel and they found some dude, and they were like, "Oh my God, Bob!" So I told that story a long time ago. I wonder if that's a, like an like no. A, that's true. Is it? True? It's absolutely true. I think it is. True. We fact checked it. We did fact check. We it? did fact check it. It is no, true. No. Anyway, this is an outstanding, outstanding bourbon. Yes. I couldn't help to hear your little slur there, there, buddy. Give me no, no, basketball hearing, in the morning. I'm hearing impaired. <laughs> oh, that explains it. I apologize. You have, you have a slur screen in front yeah. of you. ADA. <laughs> slur screen. Have you guys have ever heard of ADA? Hello? ADA? Uh, well, that's yeah. the... I heard of ADA compliance. Yeah, and we are, not compliant. we are not ADA compliant. We are not ADA compliant, I can promise you. For you the guys dentist, have dentist, right? Fuck me over so many times. Oh, my God. I'm mad at them. Oh, you did that to yourself. No, I didn't. Walk in that straight line kind of thing. <laughs> I think we've jumped the shark here. Dudes we like did. us, it is April 24th. Mr. Producer, thank you for being on point tonight. Yes. You are the man. And uh, I'm glad you made it back from Colorado. I was I was thankful you came back, for sure. I was I had my concerns. I was kind of like, oh, my God, he's got so much shit going on. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it. Anyway, thank oh, you for but you, you thought he was never going to come back? No, no, no. We're not going to get into that right now. Dudes like us, I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Jeff. 